Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the messenger. We're back in another video, man. This won't be a long. This won't be a long video, but this is gonna be five um, signs the Holy Spirit is warning you. And ooh, number one, man. Number one hits deep. It cuts deep. Okay, let's get, let's go. This is the number one sign. Okay, when you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit speaks to you. It warns you. Uh, it's always warning you. Even warns you when good things are ahead. It's not always bad. When I say warn, it means like it informs you, lets you know the things that are that are going to come. Okay, so it's not always bad, evil, or anything like that. But it can be, as in like it warns you of evil on its way, of uh, people around you who are on demon time. <laughs> All right, number one, man, ba the bad, uh, bad and evil uh, company. Okay, the Bible says one Corinthians chapter fifteen verse thirty three. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. And there's a lot of you guys, especially all of y'all watching this video, you're trying to walk that righteous narrow path. But there's that that people around you that are keeping you in darkness, that are keeping you in bondage to sin. Okay, they're keeping you on the wrong path. And this is why it's so important to come out from her. The Bible says to come out from her and be set apart. Okay, come out of her means this Babylonian system. Okay, and there was times, guys, there was a lot of times where I've overheard the people who I was around with. Maybe my friend of friend or uh, cousin or something like that. And they'd be saying stuff like, Cause I, this new generation beyond, they'd be calling themselves demons and devils and all that weird stuff, man. It's weird, weirdos. But they'd be saying demon time, all that, right? I overheard them, so, someone say that. I'm like, what the heck? Like, And I was just like, well, that's kind of like weird. This dude was used by the devil to try, to try to take me out, man. It's a long story. It's a long story. But man, pay attention to the signs. Anyone who's saying demon time or... Or thinking that's cool and stuff like that, they're gonna be used by Satan to try to take you out. I know y'all know some real stuff, okay? That's that's a Holy Spirit warning you. Whenever when any because remember the Bible says out of the mouth the heart speaks, okay? So everything that comes out of a, a person's mouth is stored up in their heart first. So if they're saying evil things, that's evil in their heart, okay? Even when it comes to with um Cain and Abel, right? Cain killed his brother Abel because his brother was righteous and he was wicked, and it was all up in his heart, jealousy, envy. All that, all the hate he had towards his own brother. That's crazy. And that's a lot of people out here too. Okay, this is the generation of snakes. Even now I understand where Christ called people generation of vipers, snakes, okay? Because in those days, that's what, in, in, in the end times, many people are operating under like that. A lot of people out here, guys, are snakes or devils, tares, children of the wicked one. Like I said, these demon time, de demons, all that weird stuff, man. These people are going to be used by a saying to try to take you out. I'm telling y'all guys, y'all got to come out from certain people, certain friends, family. Some of y'all sleeping with the enemy. Some of y'all sleeping with these devils and demons. So come out from them, man. I'm telling y'all, the Holy Spirit will warn you. And after it warns you and warns you over again, and you don't listen, you're just opening yourself up to a whole bunch of things that could have been avoided. All right, number two is conviction, which correlates to number one, two, conviction. So whenever you fall into, or let's say, let's say if you're doing something, right? There's one thing I noticed about the Holy Spirit, right? You're doing something and you don't even know it's a sin. You don't even know that it's wrong. Okay, now me being more age and me being on this walk for, well, I think it's been like five, six years. So I'm more, I had more wisdom and knowledge. But when I was new to the walk, like my first year, a couple months, uh, there were certain things that I was doing that I didn't even know it was wrong. And that's why the Bible says, if any man says he's without sin, he is a liar and the truth is not in him. Okay, so never act like you're without sin. There's things that we're doing that we don't even know it's wrong, that we don't even know it's a sin. Okay, so always keep that in mind. So you always want to stay humble, which I'm going to go with number three. Okay, actually, let me finish this real quick. So the, the convictions, guys, I'm telling you, whenever you're, you're sinning and you feel convicted, that's a good thing because that means the Holy Spirit dwells in you. And that means that, you know, God's warning you that, okay, like, hey, you know, you, now, yes, we're under grace, but we don't use grace to sin. We don't use grace to be, to willful sin, to be disobedient, okay? So whenever you're feeling convicted, convictions, okay, it can, it can act just be sin. It could just literally be the people you're around with, those evil, uh, those evil uh, uh, company, evil, pe evil people, they're evil people, okay, snakes, that's what they are. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of snakes, there's a lot of canes out here. Okay, they're out here just trying to just kill, steal, and destroy you. They're working for the devil, man. Unknowingly. A lot of people are in bondage to darkness, in bondage to Satan's kingdom. They have no idea. Even some people go to church. Even someone, you know, even some of these Christians, right? Okay? So always keep that in mind, man. The convictions. Pay attention to it and act fast. Number three is pride, self-righteousness, and arrogancy. Okay? We know what the Bible says God hates those who who are of this okay and there was times where we were once prideful we were once self-righteous you know we were once arrogant we were once deceived at, at a certain point maybe not in our not in our walk but like when we we're uh, in the world and always keep that in mind that god does not god does not give grace 
to the people who are of the who are prideful, self righteous, and arrogant. He only gives grace to the to the humble. Okay, so when you have the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you, man, the Holy Spirit keeps you humble, and the Holy Spirit keeps you to a point where you, you don't get boastful or prideful, act like you're better than someone else. Just because, let's say. Let's say you're not like you're in a, a season where you're spiritually strong and you're not giving over to sin. You're not you're not falling short. I understand we all fall short, but let's just say you're not falling short and you start to feel better than other people. Your brother, your sister, your neighbor, the, telling you guys y'all don't want to act like that. Those are the, that's how the Pharisees act. Okay, that's who Christ called snakes, devils, serpents. You don't want to act like that. So always stay humble. And if you ever if you ever get any thoughts of like arrogancy, I'm telling you guys just cast it out, say some prayers. It could be a strong goal that's causing you to do that, okay? So always, always want to be praying and, you know, maybe doing some fasting. If it ever comes to times where you feel like your spirit is weak or if you just need some signs from God or you need some motivation, fasting is important because it feeds your spirit, okay? Feeds your spirit. So you don't want to be offering to this. There's a lot of things I see a lot of Christians, man. They, they're prideful, self-righteous, arrogant. And I was once that too, but God humbled me. And ever since then, bro, I've been humble, man, because I know that we all fall short. And just because I haven't fell short yet and I see someone else, it could be my time next. God has a, God can humble people like this, okay? We all see it throughout the whole Bible. Saul, uh, there's many people out the whole Bible who was humbled. So, yeah, just want to stay humble, man. It's, it's free to stay humble. It's free. Okay, number four. The fourth sign of the of Holy Spirit warning is disobedience because when you're disobedient, it opens doors for curses, okay? And if you're not careful, it could also open doors for, you know, evil spirits, demonic spirits, okay? So um, I understand people always tell me, you know, Mark, you know, I'm falling short, this and that. Th and that doesn't mean that you're never going to stand or something like that. I'm just saying that you have a heart for God, and when you do fall short, okay, I got to repent, I got to get right. But when you're willfully giving over to your to rebellion, to your disobedience, and you just feel no need to repent, you feel, and you're going to find yourself being more, you know, isolated, a further away, pushed from God. You're going to find yourself in that. And, you, and that's very dangerous, especially in these last days, because with all these agendas that are being pushed out, the one world currency, um, the mark of the beast, all that's coming, because it all, it's all coming, you know, not to scare nobody, but it's coming. And if you, the, if, if let's say uh, God sends his son back to, you know, blood to bloodshed, you know, to judge the earth, Christ comes back with a sword. And you're separated from God because, you know, you weren't taking, you weren't hearkening to the signs. Just like Lot's wife. She wasn't hearkening to the Holy Spirit signs. So she, so God made her a pillar of salt. Okay, so always keep that in mind, man. When you're disobedient, it can open up a lot of doors. You can open sickness, uh, disease, all that type of stuff. Okay, so always keep that in mind. Number five is dreams, man. Your dreams, bro. Ooh, your dreams, man. God will always speak to you in your dreams. And even when, okay, let's say, because it's not, like I said, it's not always evil. It's not always bad. God can give you a dream of, of a vision to come years later. Look what happened to Joseph. God warned Joseph. The Holy Spirit warned Joseph what was to come. And he didn't understand the dream. Okay, even his family didn't understand the dream. The family got jealous. We all know what happened, okay? But always keep that in mind when it comes to dreams, right? Let's say if, if you, you, you found out you're operating under this. You found out you're operating under pride and self-righteousness, arrogant. You found out that you had evil communications around you, bad friends, bad influences, uh, toxic people. You know, you found that out or you found out that, okay, there's certain sins that I got to give up. I got to get right with God. I got I to gotta repent, stuff like that, right? You found that all out and, you, and it's not going to be a cakewalk, okay? Because all those doors that you opened, those demons that you were partying with and hanging out with, smoking with, all that, right? Now it's going to be a spiritual warfare, and you're going to find yourself again attacking your dreams. But don't be afraid. Don't fret not, okay? Have the armor of God on and stand firm. Put your trust in the Lord. The Bible says, um, resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Submit yourself there for God. Let me make sure I said that correctly. Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So when you get these demonic dreams, or let's say you brothers or sisters, like let's say if you get on no fat. You want know, celibacy, semen retention, and you find these wet dreams popping up out of nowhere. Okay, these are demonic attacks. The devil does not want you, the devil, sorry, the devil wants you to be watching pornography. The devil wants you to be playing with yourself, uh, all these toys and all that weird stuff, right? He wants you to, do, to be doing that. So the minute you give up all that, you're going to find yourself getting, having, you know, intercourse. Those are incubus, succubus spirits. I have multiple videos on that. Okay, so always keep that in mind. These are the five uh, warning signs of the Holy Spirit. Hope this guy has helped you out. If you guys made it this far, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video on all social media platforms. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.